talking about angular momentum conservation. So and the total angular momentum J is given by the sum of orbital angular momentum L and the spin angular momentum S. And angular momentum conservation demands that my initial angular momentum, that means the angular momentum on the reactant side, should be equal to the final angular momentum, that is angular momentum on the product side. So now let us look into the examples. So we will be considering the ground state. While doing the examples, we will be considering ground state, meaning we will be considering L equals to 0 state. So if I consider L equals to 0 here, then the it becomes J is equals to S, right? Okay. So let me write down the spin for this. So if, when I'm saying spin, so it basically meaning, means I'm considering J is equals, uh, I'm basically considering J. So the spin for this is half, 0, and for this it is 1. In some other video, I'll be talking about uh, why the spin is half for some, why it is 1 for 1, why it is 3 by 2 for the others, okay? So for now, just consider, take okay, that spin is half here, 0, and 1 here, okay? Now, how do we add these spins? I mean, on the reactant, uh, on the in, uh, initial side or the reactant side, it is half, whereas in the product side, what I need to do is, uh, say this is, I need to add it as J1 plus J2 till J1 minus J2, right? I mean, this is the, this is how you add momentum, right? And your momentum. So, this side it is going to be 1 plus 0, it's going to be 1, and 1 minus 0, again, it's going to be 1, right? So, J i is half here and J f is one here. Hence, this reaction is forbidden by your angular momentum conservation. Okay. Now let us look into the other example. So this is your famous beta decay, right? Neutron going into proton plus an electron and an anti neutrino right so here you have spin half 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 and half so this is your spin and also this is your j y because we are considering ground state where l equals to 0 okay so on your reactant side you have your gis half right Whereas on the product side, you have your J, wait, first let me calculate this, half and half. So 1, I mean half, so it is J1 plus J2 till J1 minus J2, right? So half plus half till half minus half. So that is half plus half is going to give me 1 and half minus half is going to give me 0. Half plus half is 1. Again, this with this is going to give me 0 and half, it is half. Right? And 1 and half, it is going to be 3 by 2, right? So, for this interaction, your Gi is half and your Gf is half and also 3 by 2, right? So, if you see here, it's half and half. Hence, this interaction is allowed. Right? And hence, you also know that beta dk is allowed. So, neutron going into proton, electron and anti neutrino is allowed, right? Okay. Now, we will do a simple conservation, which again is your universal conserved quantity. So, it is your charge conservation. I think this is the most simplest of all. So, what you have is, you have your Interaction A plus B going to your C plus D, right? So you have the charges as follows. Suppose for A it is QA, for B it is QB, for C it is QC and for D it is QD. Then you must have, from your charge conservation, you must have 
this, right? Okay, now let me give you an example where an electron goes into two gammas. Okay, so what is the charge here? Here the charge is minus one, here the charge is zero, and here it is again zero. So now it's very very easily you can see that this side it is minus one, whereas this side it is zero. Hence here your delta Q is not equal to zero. Your QI is not equal to QF, right? Or your QI is not equal to QF, right? Hence, this reaction is not allowed, okay? So, this by charge conservation, this interaction is not allowed. Whereas, if you see your other one, This interaction is allowed. Why? Because you have minus 1, plus 1, 0, 0. So here, this side you have your QIs as 0 and this side you have QF as 0. So this interaction is allowed whereas this is not allowed. 